So now I'm gonna be changing these bushings and I'm gonna install these ones. Yeah, so we're gonna see how these ones work. I heard good stories about these, so let's see. But these are original pretty bad. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I installed a brand new crankshaft seal. So it's uh, actually the brand is national, but as you can see, I just added a little bit of sealant around it, like on the outside. Yeah, I know it looks like, it looks pretty bad, honestly. But as long as the is seals and everything, I mean, it's a brand new seal, but I just want to make sure that just in case it doesn't start leaking again. So I just added a little bit of sealant on the outside diameter of it. Um, and then, yeah, everything's gonna go back on the keyway, crank pulley and all that. So getting ready to install everything back really, really soon. This is the package, the national oil seal, if anybody needs the part numbers and all that for the crank seal. So we've got a new O-ring for this outlet pipe right here and this gasket. So this is the uh, assembly that goes right there. So I cleaned it all up. There's a bit of corrosion right here, but I think it's gonna be fine. And then there's some pitting right here on this guy. So what I'm gonna do, just add a little bit of sealant to it. And before I add any coolant, I'm gonna wait for it to cure 24 hours. And then this is where that O-ring goes. I cleaned this area up really good. So yeah, we're gonna reinstall that here in a second. All right, we're gonna, I already installed the keyway. We're gonna install this crank pulley. Like so. Amazing, huh? All right, cool. As you can see, it's a little bit off the mark. That is because once I released the tension on it, both camshaft and crankshaft went back just slightly. So now when I put the belt on, it should, they should go back to normal, to the OT mark. All right, so here's the situation with the timing belt. I've got a brand new belt right here, Deco. And what I do with the timing belts, I always calculate how many teeth there are on them. And these, each belt has 107 teeth, which is normal. So it's supposed to be. And then on the old belt, I actually made a mark right here, which is on the crankshaft and down there on the camshaft. And then I transferred those marks to the new belt. Also calculate, calculated the distance from here to the bottom mark. It's basically gonna go like this. So this mark is gonna line up with this mark. The bottom one's gonna line up with the bottom mark on the crankshaft pulley. And there's a there's a mark on the bottom that I made right there, okay. All right, so I turned the engine 100 our, you know, a couple of revolutions and marks are good. That mark, and then this mark. So that's good. All right, everything is reinstalled as far as timing belt, all tightened up, and I just reinstalled the crank pulley for now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start up just to make sure everything is good. Oil is not leaking and all that stuff. And then I'm still waiting on timing cover seals, so I still can't install my timing covers even though they're all cleaned up and ready to go. So this is the knuckle I'll be working with to replace uh, a rotor on it. Then the brand new axle. I'm gonna change that, install it here. 
So the only difference that I'm seeing so far is just that it's got this ABS ring. This is a non-ABS car, so yeah, but hopefully it fits. Fortunately, I lost a lot of trans fluid when changing this axle, but I'm just gonna have to refill it. Because mm, I already did the trans fluid change on this transmission, but anyways, this is the, the torn boot right here. And this joint is also pretty weak, starting to make noise. Same with this one. So, good thing we're changing it right here in the meantime. I'm gonna be changing some heater hoses too. I have this universal heater hose. I'm gonna change that. And of course, I'm gonna make sure that nothing gets rubbed through and whatnot, but yeah definitely gotta do that while doing the coolant uh, cooling system overhaul i'm working on the thermostat area and i'm going to be replacing the gasket and thermostat on this side right there and I'm probably going to replace this coolant hose and there's there was this wire that was broken i don't know where it goes to but i gotta fix it the bracket goes there yep so much stuff still left even though it doesn't seem like a lot but it's still a lot I got that surface all nice cleaned up. I'm gonna install this brand new thermostat. The next thing I gotta change is this hose. It goes right there. It's super soft and not the best shape. So I have this hose. I'm gonna use. I got this hose replaced. It's not looking the best. You know, it's just slightly little bit has a kink to it but it's not too bad it's it's not blocked it's still good and this is for the heater hose um this is for the heater system so like the cooling system so it's gonna be all fine and uh yeah it's a lot better than that uh, other hose that's swollen up yep getting ready to install the thermostat back in the seal and housing So I've got these new bushings. They're gonna go right there on the controller. I'm gonna add a bunch of silicone paste to these guys. That's the old one. It's actually pretty tired. Yeah, so. Okay, so next is the bushing. Got a bunch of anti-seize there. I'm gonna lower this up down. New coolant hose gonna go on here and shortly. Ready to put coolant in. I right, installed new uh, hatchback or trunk shocks. So right now everything is holding to have, I don't have to use vice grips anymore. It's cool. I've got new seals for the timing cover, upper and lower. I'm gonna start installing those. All right, we got all the pulleys ready to go. Got new belt, the water pump and alternator. Make sure water pump pulley is good. It's not rubbing against anything. Timing cover is all back on. All right, so this cover is back on. There was two bolts holding it. And uh, this clip right here was missing. If I find one, I'll install it here. Everything else looks fine. So control arms are nice and new, so I'm gonna add fluid film to them so they don't... I'm not gonna add fluid film to the bushings, just uh, the metal portion. That way it stays nicely preserved, doesn't rust.
swapping these caps now. Yep. So got the Bosch cap right here. I'm gonna install that and change this rotor as well. The engine is hot. I'm gonna change the oil on it. So I'm just gonna start draining it right there to the pan. I'm gonna have a nice clean oil for it. Like so. Okay. Got a new filter for it. Gonna install that bad boy. I didn't take any pictures. Let that drain. Engine oil full, good to go. No leaks. All right, the car is doing amazing. Obviously needs an alignment. I just started driving it, but uh, yeah, feels really good. And also fix the turn signal. It's honestly a fun little car. <laughs> So yeah, no noises coming from the front suspension. I feel like the rear suspension might need some work in the future, but other than that, she's doing pretty good. Just did a quick alignment on this machine right here with the string, the old school way. And then uh, grandpa's working right there too. W203 right here. But uh, yeah, I just gotta open this up. Uh, check the air filter because i haven't done it before and yeah we're almost done with this uh, machine actually just got to put this lens back together i was able to install this bulb and fix it so now it has a turn signal so that's good i got the alignment mostly straight i mean it's not too bad might need a little adjustment, but it's actually pretty good. 